Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now, available in 2000 BC. <clears throat> the country album, Dad AF. <clears throat> Don't ask her on a straight tequila night. <laughs> okay, let's get right into this video. That was my best country karaoke. Let's get right in to this summer drum along along ding 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 dong <laughs> sham lemon ding 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 dang dong I don't even know what is the ringtone I can't even think of what the ringtone is now to the, to the, to the damn drama phone ding a -ling. how's the drama drama phone this is Peter speaking <laughs> oh hi Jane how are you well I was just sitting here looking at my new Jaclyn Cosmetics nude lipsticks Jane I'm a little worried about it uh huh have I tried them yet? No, I haven't. I'm afraid of getting a skin disease, Jen. <laughs> a skin disease? They look like there's something wrong with them, Jane. They look like they got some kind of weird disease on them, Jane. <laughs> well, I know it's just a lipstick, but my lord. <laughs> All I wanted to do was look pretty in my nude lipsticks, but I guess I just, I'm afraid of getting some kind of weird skin disease. What? No, I know that the ingredients allegedly do not cause any kind of problems, but I am afraid that they look diseased, crystallized. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I stopped uh, smoking menthols years ago, Jane, because they said that they would crystallize my lungs, but I didn't know that if I used uh, Jaclyn Cosmetics nude lipsticks that it would crystallize my lips. Uh-huh. Well, I should have just kept smoking the Newports all along. Well, all right, Jane, I'll see you at the Women's League on Thursday. Bye. Oh, my God. Okay, so listen. Let's just put this. First of all, before I get into this video, <laughs> I have to uh, smoothen my lips out. It's like, oh, my ginormous. Listen, and there, look, it's smooth, okay? And it came all the way from China. Okay, so uh, before we get into this video, I'm going to be talking about Jaclyn Cosmetics and all the scandals surrounding the lipsticks that have recently come out. I think we all know that there's tons and tons of scandal around all this is Jacqueline addressing it no not at all well actually in one tweet which we're going to talk about but other than that she hasn't really addressed it yet and should she should she not address it should she just be like y'all got what you got okay you get what you get and you don't throw a fit that's what Jacqueline she should put that out y'all know she hates drama channels except for me she called me the uncle of YouTube she might not after uh this video but I do have some things to say I'm just gonna leave it up to you guys and let you hey put it in the comment section okay that's why I love to make these videos, and I want to say to all of the old OG Wolfpackers out there that have followed me from the very beginning, thank you so much for sticking around, and to all of the new people out there, thank you for making an old man's dreams come true. I love getting on videos and making people laugh or making people cry or just sharing my stories of, you know, my life, which I do on all my channels. I have five channels. I post on them every day. One of my video channels is a vlog, and it's kind of like a podcast. People just plug it in and listen. And so thank you so much uh, for all of you out there. So let's get into this video. Now, um, I have watched all the videos. I have seen all the pictures. Well, most of them. I mean, there's just more and more and more and more every minute, isn't there? As people get there. I, if I were Jaclyn Hill, I would come out right now and address this because now people are getting their packaging. What will be very interesting to me, first and foremost, going into this is if the big name beauty gurus actually get on camera and review this stuff and then act like there's nothing wrong with all of this and act like they aren't going to address all of the allegations. What is also interesting is if you go back and you watch a video that I did, a little predictions video for 2019 on YouTube, one of the things in there I said was that a YouTuber would have a major scandal, but it wouldn't be about drama. It would be about an ingredient in a brand. Very interesting, isn't that 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 happened? So this is what happened. People started getting their Jaclyn Cosmetics nude lipsticks and they noticed that they were lumpy. They noticed that there were like spots on them that looked like there were bumps, like crystals. Here, I'll show you a picture. I'll throw a picture up right there. Now, some of the people I'm gonna credit on here, but I'll credit it probably as I go through because I don't know, listen, all you have to do is put Jaclyn Cosmetics on Twitter and you can go in there and see all these people's tweets. So don't be calling me out and saying, you put their tweet on a video. Well, it's on Twitter, okay? It's public. You can go there and see it yourself. So um, I'm gonna put them up there and hey, I hope, you, Liz, thank you for educating us all is what I will say. So uh, in a second, I will shout out who put this video, a picture up because I have it all together in their tweet um, because they're the ones that actually got into it a little bit with Jaclyn, which was very interesting to me. But if you look at it, it has like these bumps and these little... 
It looks weird to me, okay? It looks like when you're in health class in high school and they show you those textbook pictures of like weird diseases. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, listen, don't come for me, okay? Listen, don't come for me. Two things I cannot get out of my brain is when I look at this close up, I'm like, is this under a mi microscope? Like, I don't even know what this is, but I'm sure I can't pronounce the name of it. Number one. Number two, everybody is talking about these butters, butters this and butters that. And there's all these butters, shea butters and mango butters and all kinds of butters and margarine and I can't believe it's not butters up in her lipsticks, okay? Am I the only one that when everybody's talking about these butters and getting real serious, all I can think about is butters from South Park? I, every time somebody says butters to me, I'm like... <laughs> so anyway, I started seeing these pictures go around. Now let me just tell you, okay? Now I did a little artwork. Now y'all don't know I'm an artist. Oh my God, I am. Okay, so when I first saw these pictures going around, first of all, I was like, Jacqueline, you need to address, the fact that she has not addressed this and it has literally been like two days is so unbelievable to me, okay? She's trying to like, listen, take a little bit of a clue from the other drama beauty gurus that have gotten in some drama in the last couple years and be like, well, if I don't address it, it'll just go away. This is not going away, Jacqueline, okay? This is your brand that people have waited 10 years to see what you're going to put out and it was a fail. It's a huge fail. You need to address it. Whether it's a packaging issue, whether it's a, a delivery issue, whether it's a butters issue, whether it's a manufacturing issue, whether it's a warehouse issue, no matter what the issue is, you need to come out and not try to sugarcoat it and you need to just be honest, okay? This is called saving your brand right now. And I was really hoping that this would go off without a hitch. I really was. You know, Jacqueline Hill is somebody that, like, listen, she's gotten in her fair share of drama, but, you know, she's wanted this for so long. Why would we not want somebody to be successful? And the thing is, is that there were always gonna, there was always going to be that person out there that was going to say something or was going to criticize Jacqueline or whatever, right? But if this had gone off without a hitch, people would have congratulated her. They would have bought her product. I think most of us out there wanted that for Jacqueline, right? But this is like across, I mean, it is literally, you guys, all over the internet, everywhere. So I don't know how she's not posting this, but listen, when I first saw it, it reminded me of some 80s, uh, my favorite 80s horror movies. So this is the first one. This is now Dawn of the Dead. Now, if you look at the, the top of it, it says on there, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And the, by the dead, I'm referring to Jacqueline Cosmetics nude lipsticks. Now, the next one is the stuff, and it says, warning, if you see the stuff in stores, call the police, oh my God, call the police on Jacqueline's lipsticks. If you have it in your home, don't touch it, get out. Get out if you see those lipsticks because they're coming for you. Okay, the stuff is a product of uh, nature, a deadly living organism, oh my God, crystals. Okay, it is, uh, a, this is on this true app on the movie poster of, listen to stuff. Now, I didn't know that it was about Jacqueline's cosmetics, but anyway, allegedly. Uh, it is addictive and destructive. <laughs> don't put it on your lips. Don't. I'm just saying, okay? You don't know what will happen. It can overcome your mind and take over your body. Oh, my God. And nothing can stop it, it says. That is some scary stuff right there, okay? That's the stuff, okay? <laughs> that's apparently the butter's ingredient. And then critters. Of course, critters. Oh, my God. That was like the first thing I thought of when I saw it. So, anyway, in all seriousness, though, let's get into what all the things are that people are saying. So, on Twitter, it started going crazy. Now, I will tell you this. I did see this tweet, okay? And I'm not going to put this girl up here because she obviously loves Jacqueline Cosmetics and stuff. But she tweeted out and she said, um, I'm a little sad a couple of the girls came with scratches, but they are still so beautiful and buttery. <laughs> and pigmented! Oh my God, they're so pigmented. Well, sure, they're pigmented. They melt right into your damn skin. They're so loose. They're basically like, I don't know, eggnog just poured over your hand like this. I don't know, what are you supposed to do? Like, shoot it on your lip... <laughs> Shoot it onto your lips. I should have said that. But like as you're trying to put on your, I mean, God, this is just a mess. Jacqueline, pull it in. Jack, this is the thing, okay? She don't want to defend it, but she would never use this lipstick. Not in a million years. And to think that she had the nerve to say she'd been carrying this shit around in her purse. Where in Florida, girl? This stuff was sitting in your purse in Florida and it wasn't melting. Are you kidding me? I ain't buying it. So people are complaining about the packaging coming scratched too. Okay. So, the other day, uh, where is it? Hold on a second, I got it all queued up. So, this person, Galaxy Minx, here I'll put up her tweet, she retweeted, or she put this screenshot of Jacqueline's tweet, which said, you posted swatches two days ago addressing her. Two days ago loving the lipsticks, now you're wondering, oh no, I don't, it's not to her, it's to somebody else. Now you're wondering why it's lumpy. 
It's obvious this lipstick is used and not fresh from factory like any other lipstick. If you use it um, over other products, have dry lips, etc., things like this can happen. And so this Galaxy Mix, she tweets it out with a screenshot and says, she already deleted that tweet, but no worries, baby, I got the screenshot. <laughs> okay, girl, we live for people like you. She said, own your shit, Jacqueline. What the F are you afraid of, huh? And she tagged her in it. And um, so what's interesting about this tweet that Jacqueline put out is, it's really her only response to people. Now, she has gone in there and liked and retweeted people that love her products, but she ain't addressing nothing in there that's about anything negative with it. And if she has, it's deleted as of 4.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, what is today? I don't even know. Thursday? Something like that. The 6th. So then, underneath there, Jacqueline responds and says, I am not afraid of anything, but I realized that it seemed much more harsh than it sounded in my mind, so I deleted it. I'm not running from anything, honestly, except for the truth. We don't even know the truth. You can handle the truth. Okay. Then she said, this other, this uh, Galaxy Mink says, then address the situations your customers are bringing to light. Apologize to them since they're the ones who keep you in the privileged position you are now. Don't go answering their genuine concerns with snotty behavior. Be a woman and own up to your mistakes. And Jacqueline responds and says, I just realized your profile picture is my face. Girl, what is going on? What? What kind of delusional world do you live in, Jacqueline Hill? I'm just asking, okay? I'm very, very, very confused that to this response, that somebody gives you a direct response saying, address your customers that have concerns, your response that is, girl, I didn't know that your profile picture, what is going on? Oh my God. No, that is not how you are a businesswoman, okay? Have you been taking lessons from Romy and Michelle? I, I'm like so confused at this point, okay? You don't just put on a dress and get a cell phone and go into a store and order the businesswoman special, okay? That ain't how it works, Jacqueline. So let's go in here and let's look at a little bit more of some of these things. I'm going in backwards order. But anyway, the same person, Galaxy Mix, she's the one that came up with the picture originally. Here, I'll put her whole tweet up here. She said, I'm swamped at work, but I just wanted to leave this here. Jacqueline Cosmetics, Jacqueline Hill, this is disgusting. In all the years, more than 20, I've been using makeup. I have never seen this on a lipstick, not even in those cheap ones I used to buy at the dollar store. Well, girl, well, I guess for Galaxy Mix, the dollar store is too good for her. Well, just spend your money then on the shitty Jacqueline cousins. No, but I love that she called it out, even in the middle of work, okay? She's like, listen, I ain't got no time for this, okay? But I'm gonna put it out there anyway. <laughs> I live. Now, I will tell you what's kind of interesting. So, here, let me put up a couple other things. People said, this is, somebody said, it's Melody said, this is not right. They keep breaking. I haven't, here it is up there. I haven't even used them more than once. I picked up two of them today to put them on and I noticed it felt loose. I went to twist it up and saw it was broken on the bottom. Jacqueline, she had Jacqueline in it. Now, I don't know about you, but talk about some horror movies. That looked like the craft to me. I, I looked at it and I thought, whoo, look, I'm three witches up at the craft. I do love that movie though so much. Okay. So, uh, then somebody else, Claudia, said, just got my Jaclyn Hill lipstick, love the color, but when I opened it, it was broken and slanted. Okay, that's not right. I'm just telling you, it's not right. And am I the one, am I the only one, you guys, that I'm sitting here and I'm looking at all this, and it was like looking at, like, sadly pictures of you know what. Okay, it just really was. I just was like, don't be sending these pictures to anybody, okay? This is just sad. Don't. Don't be sending these pictures to anybody. Jaclyn Hill has got this, I mean, she wanted this, like, huge. <laughs> Oh, this has just gone in so many different directions. Okay, but you know, she wanted to have this fantastic like launch of her brand, right? And then this is what she gets. And there's these pictures everywhere and she's just acting oblivious to it. Like she doesn't even know what's out there. And then somebody else tweeted out, and I won't show hers because she's obviously a huge Jacqueline fan. I realize this is probably not a Jacqueline cosmetic problem and more of a weather problem, but I'm so sad. And um, so she, it's like all melted and cut in half. Where are there other ones? And then somebody else, her lipstick broke right in half. Here, I'll put it up here. She said, her name's Shelby. She said, uh, it's Jacqueline Cosmetics. Oh man, I got my lipstick in the mail today. I put some on and threw it in my bag. I was about to put it on again and it's like this. I do live in Arizona and may have sat on the hot delivery truck for a bit, but I don't know. Like seriously, it's completely bent in half, right? Okay, so then everybody, hold on a second. And then somebody else showed another one. Very disappointed. Both my lipsticks came in melted and broken. Um, and then it just goes on and on and on. Now, I will tell you what's interesting about this, right? And I just want to show a picture for reference. I think I have at least one of them to show for reference. Yeah, uh, I actually have two, so I'll throw them up here. Here's the first one. Now, these are from pictures of people. Uh, these are pictures from people that, <laughs> that are saying that they love the Jacqueline Cosmetics, right? Okay, and that they were so happy with it. 
But they still have the crystals on them and they're bumpy. And these are the pictures they posted on Twitter. And I'm like, okay, so basically, uh, this is evidence for the prosecution. I'm just saying, okay, if this is in the trial, you are like, what? Why are we having you up there on the stand? Okay, this is not good evidence. You're showing how much you love your Jaclyn Cosmetics. Here's the second picture, right? And you're basically showing the same picture that everybody else is showing, but you're saying you love them. So you love lumpy, crystallized lipsticks. What? I'm so confused. Okay, so that's up there. Well, then people started speculating about what was going on. Now, this No Shade Jade, okay? She came out, he came out, and tweet, tweeted, to, uh, it was in this Galaxy Mix thread, you could be crystal, this could be crystals from not heating the ingredients properly, which as I've said, previous, said previously, is why major lipstick br uh, brands do not use those ingredients. And let me read to you, she put these two things in there, but I'm, it's about butters, not from South Park, but God, I wish. Butters are used in much the same way as oils are. They are designed to moisturize, help protect, and make a stable mixture. That is, it's solid at room temperature, yet glides and melts in the lips. Common butters and lip balm recipes are shea butter, mango butter, and cocoa butter. Generally, generally lip, large brands of lipstick do not use butters in their formulations. And if you go down to the bottom, it says, uh, this will help to minimize any crystals that might form hard, unsightly bumps in your final product, or you can do what the big guys do and just avoid butters altogether. And it goes in here and describes how it's polymorphic and it like if the fat, it's all, okay, all that kind of stuff. Which I guess is why my mother back in the day, she used to, the only uh, lipstick my mother ever wore, I swear to God, for her entire life, was this stuff called Clinique Salmon Ice, and she'd keep it in the freezer. She had like tubes of it in our drawer in the bathroom, and it was like so dead, and she'd put it like that, and she'd go, I'd be like, mother, why are you putting lipstick on your face? Because it's rouge, don't even worry about it. So anyway, but she always kept it in the freezer, right? So she puts that out. The other thing she says in here is somebody, it's like a, a thread and it says, does mango butter get grainy? And like the answer to this uh, on the Google, I guess, says um, shea and mango butter become grainy after the product has undergone a temperature increase and then cools down too slowly. The crystals will melt when they contact your skin, but it does make for a, a less than desirable texture for your body, lip, or eye butter, okay? So yeah, so temperature could be what is causing all these things to be grainy. Now, what was interesting about all of this is that Kevin James Bennett, he chimed off as well, and he put up this picture from Nick Snyder at the Viewer's Voice. Hey, Nick, how are you? He put his picture up there, and he referenced it and talked about this, so I'm going to read what he has to say and share with you guys for a second, or sh share it for, with you guys in a second. Now, Nick has made an entire video from the Viewer's Voice. Go check it out. I will link it below. Um, hey, Nick, congratulations. I was texting him a little bit today, and it's funny because, so I knew Nick back in the day. Hey, kittens. <laughs> Now he knows what that's about, but that's from somebody that he used to like talk a lot about on his channel and stuff. But listen, Nick has been, he is an OG drama channel. And I don't think a lot of people know that, but like Nick was around like a year before I am. So I'm so happy for his success. And I asked him if I could reference this and he was like, yeah, girl, go ahead. So anyway, okay. So Kevin James Bennett references uh, the picture up here. And then he says, there are, there appears to be growing controversy over Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics new lipsticks. Let's get technical. When lipsticks are formulated correctly, they go through stability testing for at least three months, usually four months. This ensures the formula remains safe and stable in the component, tube, bottle, jar, etc., and is not adversely affected by environmental factors, sudden changes in heat or cold. Some soft lipstick formulas, especially those containing a lot of emollients, butters, soft waxes, etc., requ require a specific component that prevents them from breaking when applied. We classify these as slimline components, see lower right of image. A preformed lipstick bullet is not inserted into the case. The liquefied formula isn't this as well. Y'all, listen, I about hardly graduated from high school. I ain't got my glasses on. I can't do math, but I, I trust that he probably knows what he's talking about. Okay, a preformed lipstick bullet is not inserted into the case. The liquefied formula is injected directly into... That is the second time in this video that I've said injected and that I did not expect it to. Okay. The, qual the liquefied formula is injected directly into the base of the component and then allowed to cool until solid. These cases typically have a slanted <laughs> opening on top to facilitate easy application without rolling up and exposing too much of the lipstick, which prevents a breakage of the... Do you all know why PP, the flying chihuahua, his name is PP? Because <laughs> he's always showing his lipstick. Okay. Conspiracy theory number one. Jaclyn Cosmetics already had the custom component manufactured and didn't match a suitable formula to, type, to this type of lipstick case. Should have used a slimline. Conspiracy theory number two. Stability testing was not done. I love tests like this. This is like taking those tests. Oh my God, on BuzzFeed, I love it so much. Stability testing was not done accurately or for a long enough period of time. Conspiracy theory number three. 
The lipsticks sat in a warehouse for too long and expired compromising the formula, so they began to break down. Hashtag my two cents. Jacqueline Cosmetics, is that a, like a big hashtag? I should put that up there all the time. Uh, my two cents. Jacqueline Cosmetics lipsticks should not be melting or crumbling and someone needs to address what's happening. Honestly. And then he said, what do you think is happening to these lipsticks? YouTube, uh, screenshot from Nick Snyder, the viewer's voice. So I will link Nick's video and I will also link, uh, Kevin James Bennett's Instagram underneath there. So anyway, uh, what do you guys think? Are you upset about it? Now, I have to believe that there are a lot of people out there because I have seen some sh screenshots. Not many, I will say, not many, okay? And I've seen a few reviews. I've seen good reviews and I've seen poor reviews. And, um... Uh, I, and I don't mean poor reviews because they're not getting monetized. I'm just saying, okay? But um, I haven't seen um, a lot of really great pictures that are coming out. So have you guys gotten your Jaclyn Cosmetics or are completely happy with them? There's nothing wrong? I'd be really, really interested. And then I think that also would be like, so why are certain batches that are getting sent out better than others? And are all the batches that are melting, are they all under another number? I mean, like this is a big deal. Like this is not just Jaclyn sitting at home like, how am I going to address this and deal with it? Like she needs to be in a board meeting all day long. They need to be doing, you know, like one of those reports where you talk about like the incident report and you do a whole rundown and it starts at the top. Can you imagine her day? I would not want on it, okay? But we need to find out where the batch is, what happened to that specific batch, if it's just one, if it's many, what, you know, because if all of these that she's hearing from are all, you know, located within like one batch number, or they're all coming from a certain box area or whatever, it might be, we might be able to figure out, well, we, I don't care. I, listen, they ain't gonna hire me and I don't know shit about it, okay? I don't even know. So, but I mean, they might be able to figure out what happened just with that specific type, you know, box or who knows, but y'all know what I'm saying, right? So anyway, what do you guys think in the comment section below? Are you gonna buy it now? Now we know why she didn't send out the PR first, okay? Jacqueline, listen, girl, we got it, okay? James Charles, he posted his uh, PR up the box now. You think James Charles is gonna do a review of Jacqueline Cosmetics? Oh no, he's trying to stay out of the drama these days. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.